Hello, the uh, YouTube family. And uh, again, I'm Dr. Pang from Trinity Eye Care. Today, I'm going to talk about toys your children can play and won't hurt their eyes. During this uh, COVID-19 thing, uh, you probably experience a lot of time, children have nothing to do at home, and all they do is grab their devices, electronic devices, and look at their devices for hours. And that is actually not good for their eyes health. So I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to introduce a few games that uh, children can play either with their parents or with their peers, with their friends, or even by themselves that will be able to improve their um, uh, visual system, benefit them instead of hurting their eye. Now, before I mention about the game, we have to understand that the visual system is interesting. When we're developing, we have to again know where we are and secondly, where everything else is. So in other words, we need to have a GPS know where we are, where the center of our world. And then from there, we will able, able to locate where everything else is in our world. After that, you're able to have what we call visual motor. You see all the information, you're going to take action, you're going to grab the thing, you're going to manipulate the thing, that's called the visual motor. And lastly, after you touch it, you manipulate them, you're able to again tell people what the thing done. And that's what we call visual oral motor, meaning that that make meaning to them, that, is a, that they were able to tell a story, what is this toys about, what the toys is fun about. So, this, so we have four parts in our visual system. One is knowing where we are, your own orientation, your own centering. And then the second part is where everything else is, that's to do with your vision, your eyesight, your accommodation, your focusing. And then visual motor, both the gross motor, fine motor, and lastly, we are talking about the visual, oral, and motor. So all these toys is based on these four principles. So the first one I want to show you is that it's kind of like a, a lot of time, don't have to be this one. I strongly recommend your children play some kind of um, puzzle game. Um, this is fun because you can use the block to do, uh, to uh, make different pattern, different figure, and also help them to locate the space concept, how to put different pieces in the play, kind of like a texture game. So that's are able to again spend hours and hours playing this game and helping them in using the fine motor skill, also visually seeing what is the shape and they were able to again interpret, kind of give them a cognitive level, what is the visual motor skill this able to have a visual perceptions of space, visual perceptions of uh, shape. And the next one I want you also um, do is, for children like toddler, this is excellent game because they were able to, again, if you want your kid eventually become an engineer, this is start early. You have to, again, show them what they can do with different shape to, uh, to form different pattern, different uh, picture. And then the whole idea is that they were able to, again, able to know with my manipulating different shapes, they were able to again create a more complex form, complex shape, again visual perception, and then after that using a fine motor skill to accomplish something. After that they were able to tell you this is a snail, this is a butterfly, so visual oral motor. So these are all the things that is beneficial to their visual system. Again, there's also something what we call the linking tubes. Um, you can find those here. This is great for people. Um, again, mathematics or math is a language. It's a language of counting. So when you're looking at uh, this block here, when you're stacking up uh, one on top of the other, the kid will be able to know when you have three together with one more, what, how many blocks do they have together? So simple math for children three and up, they were able to count, it would be one, two, three, and one more become four, one more become five. The concept of numbers develop early, so they were able to understand, um, again, um, when you have three of, uh, a stack of three together, you learn, you teach them multiplication early on. So this is a great game for, um, again, 
um, number unit and again not that much about visual except the color except the form otherwise this is great for them to grab the concept of mathematics early on and then next one this is great this is left center right dice game game is very simple you're just you know rolling the dice and they were able to give them a sense of orientation remember just now we're talking about the first thing they have to know is where they are where they are including what is top what is bottom what is right what is left what is center so a lot of time i don't know you may i may have you know some patient coming in have poor sense of orientation right turn left hand they cannot grasp north south west and east they do not have a good sense it's because of lack of orientation when they're growing up for some reason you know their right and left is not able to clear and this also created some problem like if your children by the time they are third grade fourth grade they still cannot distinguish between p and q b and d and that is indicating that they do have some problem with the orientation so when the basic foundation is not there, then you have to worry about when they're growing up, the learning, uh, because again, they affect the focusing because where is also mess up. And then also when you don't have the good foundation, the other two of the, of the building block will also be messed up. So this is a great way to teach them orientation, left, right, and center. Next one here, is this a great game? Um, this is uh, for seven and above. The, the greatness of this game is identification. Remember, we're talking about where is it, what is it. You have to quickly identify similar pattern from a whole bunch of confusing background. Um, this is what we call figure ground. You have to pick up something, identify them, and then you have to yell it out. You have to do something to say, this is a match. So again, when you're looking at the basic function of four uh, leg of the stool, this one almost composed of every single one of them. You have to say it, you have to do it. You also have to identify, you also have to know where everything is. So great game for uh, children seven and about. And it's also a fun game, even adults, I like to play this. And next one here, this is for more advanced kids, seven and about, again, is a 3D, but this is a puzzle in 3d they have different um, patterns that you're able to follow but again the whole idea is how to create a pyramid in a 3d form uh, by using different beat different patterns drawn together so again what is the variable of this is again perception of space perceptions of unit perceptions of uh, connection between different units again this is also another game that i like just like um, the pyrus game the card game about matching is sported this is blink this is more simple however you have to do it in a fast pace uh, fast pace so kind of like uno but instead they have different shape different uh, pattern different color and different number so you have to quickly, again, remember this is something about the visual oral motor, again, more advanced form of visual system. You have to see it, you have to do it, and you have to say it. So when you're doing the game, you're able to match either the number or the patterns of the card as fast as you can. So um, great game for the, uh, for the coordination, also for the visual system development. And then uh, we also have this, this is combining identification with a brain activity of mathematics. You have, this is kind of like for older kids, you have to again, uh, count the, the number, the dot, and then uh, you're able to identify the, 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 the pattern, um, and then interpret that using your cognitive skill to play the game to match how many numbers on the dice, and then use the strategy that you have to win the game. Good for older kids, good for family to play together with different age range. This is again, Rush Hour. I probably, a lot of people played this before. Rush Hour now come in different age group. They have some for younger kids, older kids. And the whole idea is again, using the visual system to solve a problem. Um, they have, you know, certain space. They have to identify the space where everything is and then think about how to rearrange the pattern in order to solve the solution. Much higher level of cognitive um, skill. Last one, if you get tired of sitting down playing the game, this is a great game for you to play even indoor in your living room. 
um, Jasminton. Yes, basically you have some birdie here using two pedal to kind of you know like hit the uh, the the birdie to each other, kind of like a tennis game, but again, uh, much slower speed. And why is it good? Is because again you have to again this is more to do with the first two. Where am I and where is it? When you see the birdie coming towards you, when are you going to get the pedal out to hit it? Great for hand-eye coordination and great also for visual motor skill. This is the, the game that I want to um, present to you. 10, game that, 10 games that we have here. Great for all the basic foundation of the visual development. Hope you like it. I want to make sure that you really attempt to uh, get this game for your children so that their eye will be healthier instead of sitting in front of the TV or in front of the computer. See you next time. Thank you.